go over from morning Rabotai, there's a set of brachot that we say every morning called Birkot Tashachim, which, you know, translated um, directly is the morning blessings. Now, although there are, they are called the morning blessings, nevertheless, the minhag of the Sfaradim and Ridukha Mizrach, following the Ben Yishchai, Ben Ashash, and other Kubanim is that the earliest time that a person can recite Birkot Tashachim in the morning is now Birkot Tashachim. Before I continue, is obviously Asher Yatzar is only if a person uses the restroom. Birkot um, Tashachim is from Enoai, Neshama Shinatatadi, until the end of the Yiratzot of Chata Hashem, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Na Amon Yisraelim. That's considered Birkot Tashachim. That set of Brachot, Birkot Tashachim is a different story altogether. But the earliest time for Birkot Tashachim, according to the Kubalim, which is what the Skaladim follow, is from Chatzot Halayna, which means if a person is up all night, or if a person wakes up, really, really early in the morning, even before Alot Shachar, as long as it's be after Chatzot Alayla, which means Halachic, seasonal, midnight, the Alacha is, you can recite Birkot Shachar immediately then, that's the Minha. Now, how long does a person have to say until? Let's say, for whatever reason, a person, you know, overslept, a person didn't feel well, he wasn't able to pray, wakes up late. How long in the day is a person allowed to say Birkot Shachar? It's the morning blessing. The Mishnah Bilbao rules that in most Ashkenazi world like this, that a person can say Birkot HaShachar until Chatzot, Chatzot Yom, which is exactly 12 hours after Chatzot HaLayim. After Chatzot Yom, it's no longer considered morning anymore, it's no longer considered day now, it's already afternoon, you lose it. Nevertheless, my husband of Racha disagrees with the Mishnah Bilbao. He brings several sources to disagree, and he says that according to our minhag, a person, again, obviously it's better to say it as early as possible, and even before Chatzot, certainly. But even if a person did not, ones, shogeg, ratzon, whatever it is, the halacha, if a person did not, a person is allowed to say it all day long until shpi'at hama, until sunset, a person can say all of these brachot, even though it's called birkot ha-shachar, but it's a shevach to ha-chadosh baruch that is really appropriate all day long. Bezat the Hashem will continue tomorrow. What happens if a person didn't say birkot ha-shachar, and he only remembered after praying tefillat shacharim? Does he lose it then or not? Bezat the Hashem will speak about that tomorrow.